Hey, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a 50 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Power Queen. And we'll get started right after this. Okay, the items come in the box. You obviously get the 12.8 volt, 50 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And you get a quick start beginner's guide and the owner's manual inside this pouch. And you get two sets of bolts, as well as color-coordinated terminal caps. This quick start guide is a uh, basically a safety precaution. Shows you how not to get yourself electrocuted. Power Queen has a really good manual for the 50 amp hour battery. You don't need an engineering degree to use it. They give you some basics in the beginning here, like its dimensions, even its color. Let you know that you have M8 bolts, and they do give you two sets of those. They have a 1.25 millimeter thread, 16 millimeters long, 8 millimeters wide. Show you the operating voltage, your charging voltage, the max continuous load power, and your max continuous charging or discharge current. How to get it ready for use by putting in the bolts in the terminals. Parameters of the battery. Some basics on what to know before you get started charging methods, the charging logic, info about using solar panels and charge controllers, as well as battery chargers. Give you a chart for the capacitor's voltage. And they show you how to hook the batteries up in either series or parallel. In series, you'll get 48 volts of 50 amp hour battery. In parallel, you'll have 12 volts with 200 amp hour battery, and you can hook up to four. And then they show you how to go ahead and connect everything. And they also talk about rebalancing the batteries every six months if you have them hooked up that way. Tell so your inverter settings and the usual warnings. Like I said, it's a good manual, it, it tells you what you need to know. Now, per the owner's manual, they say when the battery is first shipped to you, it comes between 30 and 50% charged. So we're going to check that out real quick. Let's take the two caps off. Get your voltmeter set up for DC. There we are, we're at 13.18. And that number also divided by four will tell you that each battery is pretty close to being charged equally. So I'm gonna charge this up fully and we're gonna do a capacity test as soon as that's done. Okay, I've got the battery all charged up and we're gonna use the Maker Hawk load tester to see what the capacity of this battery is, make sure it can get the full 50 amp hours out of it. Okay, we've got everything hooked up. Let's get this thing all set up. We'll go up to 12 amps. There we go. And we'll be back once the battery is completely drained. Okay, the capacity test just ended and it took five hours, four minutes and 42 seconds. And we got 51.27 amp hours out of it. So it definitely passed the capacity test there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna charge the battery and we're gonna hook it up to the Yesu 101D. See if we can make some contacts and how well it works with the radio. Okay, after discharging it for the capacity test, I've gone ahead and recharged the battery and let it rest overnight. We're currently sitting at 3.74 volts. I'm gonna throw a little screenshot up in the corner so you can see at what percentage how full the battery is. Now I'm gonna hook it up to a Yesu 101D and the Buddy Stick Pro and see if we can't make some contacts using this battery. Okay, what I wanted to do was use the Yesu FTDX101D along with the 50 amp hour battery from Power Queen. However, the bands suck in a major way today. And you can see there's these bursts that keep popping up here on 20 meters. Forty meters we're getting a picket fence that was showing up. I've changed the antenna bands right now so you're not seeing it very well. 10 meters, 17 meters, nobody there. However, this battery has been hooked up and running this radio nonstop for several hours without any issue. Tried to make contacts, pushing 100 watts with this radio, no issues again. 
I think this battery would be absolutely phenomenal for field day, winter field day, camping trips. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, why don't you check out one of these other videos and thanks again for watching.